Hello everyone. We'll study to configure DHCP and wireless router. DHCP stands for Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol. That means the wireless router will assign dynamically the IP addresses to all the nodes into the network. So for design a network, we'll take minimum three nodes. And we'll take one wireless router. We'll connect with the help of straight cable through the fast Ethernet to the wireless router. Now we'll just see the con configuration of the wireless router by default what is the IP address for the wireless router. Go to config, go to the LAN connection. Here we have the IP address as 192.168.0.1 and the subnet mask as 255.255.255.0. We'll keep as it is at the first part. We'll see for the configuration we have to assign the IP addresses to all the system and we want it dynamically assigned. So we'll go to each system and instead of typing the static IP address, we have to just select the DHCP. So here you get the IP address as 0 0.100. Similarly, we can do it for all three nodes. We can go by this path also, like how usually we give the IP address. Okay. So here you can just see the default gateway that is wireless router's IP address will come as a default gateway. Here the DSCP request successful. So we got the IP address. Now suppose if we want to change the range of the IP address and also if we want to change the starting IP address and also if we want to change the wireless router's IP address we can click here we can go to the LAN connection we can change here or we can change it in the GUI mode in GUI mode we can change all other things that is a range or if we want to We want to change the starting IP address, then we can have to go to GUI mode. Here, the first selection is automatic configuration, that is DHCP. GUI stands for graphical user interface, in which all the details about the wireless router settings or the configuration of wireless router, which we can visualize. Here, the IP address is 1.1. If you want to change, you can change IP address here. At the same time, you can change here the starting IP address. We will take it for a change as a 50. The subnet pass remains the same. The maximum number, we can change it or we can keep as it is. We will take 25. We can just check the DHCP reservation. All the options, whatever are given. If you want to select any range from this, you can select. Otherwise, you can just close this settings and save the changes what we have made we can close this window go to the system go to the desktop go to the ip config and just check for you can wait for some time it will take automatically otherwise you can switch from static to dynamic it will show you 192.168.1.50, the first IP address and the default gateway is 1.1. Similarly, you can just try for the 
requesting IP address and we got the IP address is 51. Similarly for you can just see the previous IP address what it was because the range was from 100 the starting IP address was from 100 and uh, the router's address was 0 0.1 now we have made the changes and we get the accordingly what we have assigned the IP address accordingly okay. you can do with the other procedure also that is you can go to the system you can go to the web browser you can give the IP address of the wireless router you get in the in Cisco packet tracer the user ID and password which is assigned is admin admin and just and you can make the settings accordingly this is the optional or the second option wherein you can make the changes of your router wireless router's ip address then range then the starting ip address as per your requirement